Hello everybody, welcome to my week 4 Super League match versus Andy Davo. Um, I have to at least not lose this match to stay alive, probably. Um, you know, potential things could happen, but it's looking like I pretty much have to draw this game. He's won the toss and received. I actually am going to try and focus on this game, so I am going to dip out of commentary. Elliot and Dimi are here to take over and talk about the game. Sometimes we'll probably mostly talk about painting thralls and eating nuts. So uh, take it away, boys. Thank you very much. He knows us too well. I mean, I think he's mainly referring to you. Cause... Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. So what are you going to talk about, Dimi, while I'll talk about nuts and thralls? Nobs? Uh... Maybe, yeah. I was I was thinking we need to give him an engagement question for YouTube. Oh, yeah. So I'll What's the favourite you. model you've ever painted? Whoa. Your favourite model to paint? Mine was yes. the Grebo Bloodthirster. Oh, what, the corn? Yeah, yeah. B blood, Bloodspawn? Yeah, Bloodspawn, that's it. Bloodspawn. Blood yeah. He's not like Ooh, officially nice. a Bloodspawn, he's called something else on Greedo. Oh, right, yeah. We'll see whatever it is. But yeah, yeah, that was really insane and really fun. Oh, nice. I've gone live, by the way, I forgot about that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, nobody's watching the game, too. Well, hey! Wait, what are you doing? What do you I'm mean, painting. Like? Oh, that's why I'm watching the game. <laughs> I was just telling you about which my favourite model was to paint ever. Yeah, but you said no one's watching the game. Uh, are they? Is anyone in chat actually watching this? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> but what about the people in Discord? It's uh. Oh, and he's gonna take the hits with the wolves. So are we blue? Uh, Jimmy's blue and he's reds. They've got exact. Oh, so well, I said they got Necro exact versus Necro. It is, yeah, but Jimmy's got a wrestle wolf, and then he's got two block wolves. Ugh. What do you think oh. of the wrestle wolf, Jimmy? It's not what I would have done. No. But uh... oh, is it really sunny? Oh, that's really hindered Very and his passing game. Yeah, what a shame. Mm. Won't be able to get those uh, wraith uh, completion SPPs now. Yeah, what an impactful kickoff event. <laughs> to be fair, I think I would just be happy that it's not something stupid like a. Blitz or a... See, it's going to be hard to protect this wolf, I guess. I'm just going to put a guard either side of it. Yeah, yeah. I need... can't really stop them getting 2 lead, but... Well... You have to commit players to 2 lead. Yeah. It hits in return. got to be worth it, isn't it? It's got to be worth it. Not necessarily. I think you're only 2 leading it if you're going up, like you're manzing the whole team up. Oh, he takes them both down, so that wolf is safe. Ish. I do like the idea of the old cowboy hats on the uh, zombies. Though. Yeah, it's good using the cosmetics to make your players look different. Yeah. That is a good thing. He did a very similar thing. This is like, pretty much identical to what he did against Seabors, isn't it? Except like one square back. Oop. Oh, no re-roll. No problem. I don't think Annie's re-rolled nothing. Annie's not re-rolled nothing, Annie. It's three re-rolls. Yeah. <clears throat> Lands up his zombies. He must have been watching mm. a Andy Davo guide before this. Well, I'm only standing up my zombies if I'm going in here in some way. That's interesting. It is. Will he all mans? Will he try and get some people on the back? Will he blitz the wolf? I think he's blitzing the wolf, but then if you're blitzing the wolf, you got to do it with a golem, though, haven't you? Yeah. And then you have to you've wait got, your wraith on a, the golem. A race, yeah. yeah, exactly. That's why I wouldn't do it, because you're taking a hit in return. Unless I'm basing everything and trying to just overload. Oh, man, this is quite a funny matchup, though. <laughs> They're all going to end oh. up in a massive lion. Like, oh, yeah. Probably. Guard everywhere and bloody red nightmare. It's kind of like dwarves that have two string four players and two foul players players with all this guard. He's doing it and he's hitting a wolf. Fair enough. Mm. 
Nope. I've done a Wrestle War nope. for the Euros, you rate it. Mm. I mean, it's good in certain matchups. I don't think it particularly shines in this one. But I can see it being useful in other matchups. It's just the block and claw is just really nice. Yeah, not having the block and claw for the fleshes in this matchup is very sad. Yeah. It's nice for the race though, if you need to knock a wraith down. <coughs> yeah, if you're knocking a wraith down, you're knocking yourself down, and then that's an issue. Well, I mean, if you're knocking anything down, you're not knocking yourself down with Wrestle. Yeah. yeah. That's what Wrestle does. I mean, like, yeah, so the Wrestle Wolf is good against what, like, Dark Elves, would it, like, any elf, and maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Something like Amazons, maybe? I don't even know. Probably not Amazons, even, to be fair, because you want to block them down as well. Just roll pals, is uh, my honest opinion. Oh, speaking exactly. of pals, Ooh. the Duble. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, dead. If, this, if this breaks armor. Oh, so he's gone in quite a bit then, yeah. He is gone Giving in. Giving away a lot of hits. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he's baiting the foul. Oh. He has got Great a bench. Matchup. No knobs anywhere. What? Oh, sorry. I've got to deal with uh, some spammers. There we go. Oh, that's the one he stood up. And then he didn't go in. Oh, yeah, he kind of went in. He did kind of go in. Does regen. Oh, what? Is some, oh, I guess this got gone. Oh, a zombie, yeah. Yeah, it was the yeah, one he stood up. Yeah, a bit of a weird turn from Jimmy, honestly, I don't know. I guess he feels the need to do something, but... Kind of felt like he was just getting lots of hits. Yeah, I, I, I definitely... It's a bit of a weird statement, but I, I feel like Andy may be the more comfortable on Necro. Despite Jimmy Ooh. winning Blitz bit on Necro. Doesn't stand for No armor break. Amazing. Is he trying to... He's not going to hit this golem, is he? Still got that block wolf on the floor. Oh, no blitz. Who's he blitz? He hasn't blitzed yet, is it? Oh, he's going to blitz with a zombie and put the wolf on the golem. No, not on the golem. Oh, one in nines. Puts the reroll in, wow. I guess he just wanted to hit the wolf. Hasn't picked up the ball yet. No. Still not. Ooh. Now it's the part where is Jimmy like, ooh, if only I'd stuck a stuck some players up. Well, he's just gonna run around now, and he surely he's gonna blitz the zombie on the right, and then run the wolf through, and then. Yeah, but like if he'd done it last turn, then he, he'd uh, he'd have forced the beaver, wouldn't he? Yeah. Not the die. What would I think he should have done? Oh, foul appearance as well. I love foul appearance. Oh, oh my god. It's so fucking annoying because of this sidestep. Oh, I was going to break foul, through this foul, turn, foul. right, if I'd got the pal, but fuck. Foul, foul, foul. Jimmy's struggling to realise who his players are because they don't have funny hats on. Mm -hmm. Yep.
<laughs> it's just made his mind up. Here we go. Well, I'm actually quite hyped, Ali, but for the game, but I'm painting, so Ain't, yeah. I have to focus all my energies on the thralls. Otherwise, Dimmy will shout at me. I mean, I I offered to lend you thralls so you didn't have to paint any, but you just said no, so it's fine. But they won't be the right colour, <coughs> will they? Uh, yeah, but... I mean, I could have just lent you all of my thralls, in which case it'd all be the same colour. What, what colour did you do, your vampires? But then they won't be the same colour as the vampires. The vampires are, I don't know, green. Green, green, green and black, are they? Green and grey. No, yeah, well, well, my thralls are green and grey. It's all green and black. Mm, it's not going to be the same colour green, though, is it? Uh, potentially. Potentially. Did you go light green or dark green? Uh, dark green? Oh, yeah, that's the colour my thralls are. There you go. Pictures. Uh, all right. Let's have a look. Oh, oh. I'm That's a KG term from Jimmy. I can't find my phone. Didn't decide to go any pressure. Mm. Left him off the hook again to try and pick this ball up. I feel like you can't have to just go aggro. I think. I feel like that way, but maybe I, like, I'm probably wrong. But... Aggro in what sense? And you mean it as Jimmy? Yeah. 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 So in what sense? Like basing well, everybody guess... or going for the ball? Going for the ball. Like I would have blitzed through the, the zombie on the right and then run the wall through and what have you. Like I'm not really interested in this mosh pit in the middle of the pitch. Like, but then I guess Jimmy's probably coming at this by the logic that he just doesn't want to lose, right? Which is yeah. But if he didn't want to lose, I'd just stand off. What well, like like he's kind of doing? I don't know. He he kind of he went in though, didn't he? Good afternoon, Julia. Yeah. Hey, oh, it's getting banged out. Yeah. Two removals. I didn't, I didn't really like the approach, to be honest. Hmm. Then that's me. What would you have done, turn one? I'd have just stood off. Yeah. But that's me. Left the zombies on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Be another removal here. Oh. Just a, just a stun. It's a pal on the wraith. With the goal. Like, these are some of the trickiest decisions, I think. Like, the overall strategy to take during a drive, during a turn. I think it was a very, very tough to one. Home, to sit off yeah, or... exactly. Yeah. Whether to the ball, yeah. Yeah, really, really tough and close and not obvious. It's a pig of a matchup, right? It's just, I wouldn't want to play well, this. Well, with all the fleshies and the fucking uh, grace, it's horrible, yeah. Yeah, and all the guard going on as well. Yeah. Failed the pick up again. Wow. Just, a, just another five of those and uh, Jim's alright. Or well, seven of those, sorry, because they'd have two re rolls on Successful, uh,. I mean, to be fair, like, Andy doesn't really care that he's not picked up the ball. Like, that could have been a no. much bigger issue for him, right? Like, it's... Yeah. Does claw a golem here. This could be huge. There's no way he's standing firm, surely, right? Yeah, there we go. Now he can get his goal. Oh, he's going forwards. I thought he might hit the goal. Oh, God. I thought he might hit the goal there. And come back and off that wall of guard. How is that a 2D? Oh, that's his own Wraith in front of him. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, he's blitzing. Oh, We've wrestled! The wrestling goal. Here we go! Oh. 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 Best kill skill in oh. the game. Oh I my fucking goodness. wish he'd rolled them both down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh. I was hoping he would. Oh, this is interesting. Just like. Come down my uh, right side, Andy, please. Mmm. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, I guess like, he's just locked in to try and bang and remove stuff, isn't he? This is down two players at the moment, so. Yeah. It's going to be tough. 
I mean, honestly, maybe, like, Lie even down if and you're not going for the ball time. from turn one, you're thinking, let's just go for the ball now, just because it's still on the floor. You might, you might still one in nine. So, yeah, even down it's... two players. Maybe you should just switch to the ball. But I mean, it's, it's not easy. How's the wraith? Fatal fart, the wraith. Oof. Had a few of those. Yeah, especially after a bag of nuts, yeah. Now he's got 2D with claw on Jim's golem, right? Two into two. Keep forgetting which colour's which, we're blue, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. so he splits in that golem. Uh, he doesn't have anybody to blitz it into, though, does he? Oh, that's a wraith, isn't it? Yeah, so oh, no, a, we just changed yeah. the old guy out. I mean, sorry, changed the other golem out, I mean. Changed Jimmy's golem out. So Jimmy probably stand firms, yeah. Stand firms one of his golems, I guess. Doesn't matter which. Unless he just wants to free it. Has he pushed it into the golem? Yeah, he must have been. Yeah. No, he just, that was just the first golem, so. Yeah. Here we go. Bosh. Oh, I didn't break armor. I I thought that was dead. I thought that was instantly dead the minute I saw the blitz. <laughs> what a mess this is. What an absolute mess this is. Wolf's fine. Four, five, six, seven. So it's Jim's turn to claw a golem next turn? Oh, I don't know, he's got... Fails the pick up again! Is he going to re-roll this one? Has nah, he had enough? No, no point at this point, don't we? Yeah, I, mean, I don't think so. No, so, I so think... probably next turn we have to, but just there's no time, pressure but... on the ball, is there? Like this, exactly, is, this exactly, is me. If yeah. Jim had any sort of pressure on yeah. the ball, like this is uh, an instant reroll. Yeah. Should I reroll? Is the name of Andy's team? <laughs> ah, ha, ha, ha. No. I don't think so. <laughs> no. Yeah. I guess the wrestle ghoul. He rerolls it. Yeah. The wrestle ghoul. So the wrestle wolf was actually chainable out, right there. The fleshy could have chained, hit the zombie to chain the, chain uh, the wrestle ball. And then it's just a free plus dodge, yeah. Yeah. And it's not even, well, it's a dodge to fill the square, right? Yeah, it's dodge. yeah. yeah. Well, like a wandy on the fleshy to pound. Yeah, I guess he had to reroll it, yeah. Weirdly, this was enough pressure to force the reroll. Mm -hmm. Well, werewolves are fast, is the thing. They so are. They can go they, places. Yeah. It would have been hilarious if, like, Andy didn't roll it and then Jim chained the wolf out and then wrestled himself down on the yeah. goal and then, and then the goal just picked up the ball and ran off. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, it would have been so much fun. Get hurt the ball the rest of this turn, yeah. Mm. Oh, what? Just Wolf. do the same chain. Wolf's are fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he needs to dodge twice. So he needs to chain him and then dodge twice, right? And that's a one. -day. I would chain him. I'd just go the other way, knock that zombie down, and then dodge to the right. Oh, really? Knock, knock both then... zombies down. <clears throat> oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 I see. So they use the block wolf to... Oh, no, he's already stood that zombie. He's already oh, stood okay, the zombie on the right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God, he's not standing firm. What the hell? What the hell? Did he just go into a 1D? He did, yeah. I don't know what he was doing, to be honest. I, why didn't... I might have misclicked there. Fuck me. Uh, oh. 
I think he might have misclicked chat. He pulled a he pulled a KFO. He saw KFO as the best player in the world and has been studying his form in BBSL and uh decided to replicate that. Imitation is the sincerest form of flat we're doing. Yeah, yeah, he, he imitated it by uh pressing the wrong button. That's a beautiful one D pal. Oh my god, he gets the armor break as well. Ooh. Ah, Mikao, you lucky dog! Disgusting! Ooh. Oh my god. Oh That's my god. Place, Absolute filth. Oh, that's a bit shit. He's gonna go right in between that goal, right? Surely. Yeah, he's got the free wraith this next turn, though, Jimmy. Well, I say he's got the free wraith, he might not have the free wraith. He's got to dodge this woof, woof out, hasn't he? Woof. Woof. Dodge out the woof. What makes it. Flaw. He rolled a six on that as well. Unbelievable. You prefer the oh. other south square on the side so there wasn't another south square on the side. So Fuck, oh, imagine if I'd moved the fucking wolf away instead of fucking not stand firming. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Just pure misclick. Like, I wasn't trying to do anything, you know, like clever and, and misread the board or anything. I just fucking literally misclicked. What an idiot. Like, that's why I stood him up first. I thought, well, I'll have to stand him up to, so I can stand firm. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Didn't die? Uh, what are we doing here? Hmm. What turn are we on? Five. Hmm. This is uh oh Ooh. bad yeah Ooh. dead 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 Ooh. regen Ooh, no regen Ooh. Woof. oh well that's GG and that well done Jim ball. the fucking misclick fucking loses me the game amazing so now we effectively have zero wolves yeah bad appearance. Oh my god. Oh my god. Regen! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite disappointed. Uh. <laughs> Jimmy, it's gonna be raging. <laughs> oh. oh, this is spicy. Oh, he's clawing the other wolf, right? Okay. Push. Oh, he's gonna wrestle him! He's... Hang on. Oh, hey! Uh, well, I mean, block, block would have also worked, but. <laughs> I thought he was going to wrestle him and then just get him up and. I mean, this is just a 3 plus. He's got a rush, and he? Double rush? Oh, he's got the wolf. Yeah, the, the, the hit with the zombie. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Rush, rush. Oh, just one rush in it. So it's three, three, two, for one D. And then three, three, three for the ghoul to pick it up. Oh, one D, Pat. That was on the golem, though, no? Has he got anyone in three to, like, get this? Oh, he's got to dodge this wraith. Hmm. How's it going? Hello, Torek. You're right. Dyson. <coughs> I mean, Jimmy diced himself by not pressing stand firm and by taking a wrestle wall. And by taking a wrestle wall. Oh, he fails the dodge and stuns the raves. That's actually huge. To be I say it's huge. It's not huge. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can actually <coughs> dodge double GFI with the Wraith to put an assist in and then do the double 
dodge with the werewolf and the GA5 for 2D into 2D. And obviously another GA5, he doesn't get it on the first one and then take the ghoul out. So, oh, he just, yeah, sorry, he doesn't need to double GA5, he just does the dodge through. Uh, honestly, Hangog, I don't know. I just, for some reason, I, today I decided to rip on Wrestle Wolves, so I'm ripping on Wrestle Wolves. Tomorrow, who knows what I'll be mocking. Uh, tomorrow, oh yeah, no. Friday, it'll be you. <laughs> Friday, hey. I'll be mocking me. <laughs> well, I will be. <laughs> hey, hey, hilarious. Oh, he's just going with the goal because it's double dodge. Yeah, that's you won't be on Saturday, though, or Sunday. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, you might be losing so badly that I feel bad for you. And no, just, like, uh, 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 <laughs> just like to give you a hug, you just like to dig in your ass. Uh, 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 it's alright with Hancock because he's, he's always winning, so I can just be mean to him on uh, weekends. Uh, 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 <laughs> Somehow, Jim has the uh, ball. Yeah. But I thought he was GG. Uh, I mean, it, it still is potentially. That Wraith stun on that dodge is actually pretty big. He's got to stand that zombie up to get surfed, and he as well. Yeah. What'd you do with the rest of Wolf Elliot? Tag the goal. Fuck me! Yeah. You don't ask me to look at the fucking pitch, are you? Uh, just stand the motherfucker up, I guess. Oh, he's gonna tag the goal. That's what I thought. But then, if he tags the goal, yeah, the Wraith's tagged by the uh, Golem, isn't he? So. Maybe you just, I mean, it's it's hard, you know. I think maybe you just dodge one square to the left. Ooh, well, this is. Uh, mm, I wouldn't go there. Bad. I'd go two below the wraith there. Yeah. Would you mm. do, just do the dodge first? See if it works. Yeah. Yeah. Figure it out. Yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy pulling a like Jimmy and Davo both pulling a, a soul soul half. A you just you just stand up. The problem <laughs> is if he just stands up that his other wolf might die. <laughs> In which case, the, yeah, but the problem is if he dodges his other wolf. Yeah, might die. yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just tag it. He's gonna fail to dodge anyway. I don't know why he's doing all this pathing. Oh, makes it, makes it. Yeah, that's the square I liked. So now... That zombie's in a really great square as well to stop the Ray free plus dodging out. So I like that. I like that a lot. Very good turn. Very good turn. So... How many players have Jim even got on the pitch? Like he's got like seven, has he? Three, four, five, six. He's got seven, yeah. And Andy's got ten, right? Although a guard yeah. got him down, yeah. It's amazing, Jimmy's in this position on Andy's drive down three mm -hmm. players. It's um almost unbelievable. Almost unbelievable. Oh, question. How was the goal hit a ball? I guess he put the goal in for the assist and he put the block in. That's a big armor break. And that was the blitz. That was the blitz. Hmm. Can you chain him out? Not really. Ball based with sidestep, GG, well played. I mean, it's a free plus with dodge to get away from it. I was thinking, can he hit the right? Like, he needs to fill the square behind the goal and then he can just chain the goal around the side. And then he'll be able to outrun the goal with double GFIs. And then potentially the Wraith as well, double GFIs. Oh, that's a huge failed dodge. Can he fill that square? Can he fill that square? I don't think he can. What square? 
the the square between the zombie and the mate like is this a four plus dodge with a golem and then go the square in, between the zombie and the what don't leave me hanging the zombie and the wraith so behind the ghoul like you see you, you can make the box oh, for, right. you, for your wraith to chain the ghoul out and oh then i see run down I see. the sides oh well, yeah i mean yeah you you'd you could just have to dodge, uh, you could just dodge, it's a one yeah. it's a 1d as well yeah it's just dodging it 100 percent yeah but like I mean, because if you do the chain and you're in the same line as the wraith, if you make the dodge and do the double gear fire, neither the ghoul or the uh, wraith can reach mm, you. True, true. And then the mm, wolf true. is also one square like out of range as well, so it literally puts you completely out of range. Like true. Apart from the zombie, maybe. But then you can go sideline. So it's just so fucking good. You could, hang, I wonder far. if we're wanting the oh, no, no, what, what the wraith with the rest of wolf. <laughs> yes, the wolf. yes, exactly, exactly. Oh yeah. my god! The hero. And then two D the ghoul and, and walking away. Mm. Well, I, I think we just. I think we're not. We, I think we're just first action dodging or yeah, you know, whatever. Oh mate, it'd be a huge four plus dodge run. Yeah, blitz the fleshy. Oh. Yeah, but it's only a one D, right? But yeah. Oh, no, 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 it's no pull. It's, it's no pull. It's, it's, it's no pull. Because of the wolf, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, 2D against exactly. Ali's better at Blood Bowl than anybody. 2D against with who? With the uh, Wraith on the Ghoul. Yeah, but then you're pushing the Ghoul back as well, which is. Uh -huh. Maybe you just do the 4 3 dodge. Oh no, you just need a free dodge. Yeah. I don't know. Just get the ball on a bludger, then dodge the wolf out, blitz the ghoul out, the golem out of screen. That's, that's it. That's a 1D. Uh huh. It's just, no, he's doing a dodge. Is it? He's just dodging, yeah, he's dodging. No, but it would be an up pull, though. One, one assist for two against. Fill the square. But yeah, fill, fill the square. It's uh, oh okay. fucking rip. Fill, fill the square. It's still not full. Twenty nines. The flashy has guard. Yeah, yeah. That's you want assist. That's your one assist. That's your plus one. And then the wolf is minus one, and the other, the enemy flashy is minus two. Of course, I fucking failed. Yeah. So if you think about blitzing him out, yeah, I'd have a double GFI with a zombie to cancel the wolf. I'd have had to blitz in here for the assist, and then so that's just equal. So then I'd have to dodge the wolf as well, and then I would have got two D and chained him up. Yeah, it's, just, it's too many dice, isn't it? Like three GFIs, a blockless two yeah. D, and another dodge yeah. and that hasn't got yeah. the dodge skill. Like the failure state's better, but it still probably fucking loses anyway, doesn't it? Yeah. Just had to touch 100. Yeah, I, re I really like the the fleshy blitz and then go in there, but it's just it wasn't these two made it unviable, <laughs> sadly. Yeah, we we all would contemplate until someone pointed out it would be an uphill without any further. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if he didn't have guard, like if this was a non-guard play, I would have done the double GFI. But the fact that I would have needed the fucking wolf as well was ludicrous. No, I won't give I in thought. until I'm victorious. Just dodge with the ball, and I will classic defend. and fail. I will maybe defend. it wasn't ludicrous. Maybe it was better, right? Because you know, it is a bet. It would have been a better fail state, wouldn't it? Nah, but then this was nah, a better nah, success no way, state. No this was a better success state because this is potentially a zombie blitz and the uh, wolf dodge and and have a screen for it, wasn't it? So. Yeah. Sat a field with seventy nine months. Oh. That's four million beaver pregnancies. Absolutely nice math, do we? Yep, that's over two beaver generations. Three generations of beavers. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much, Sato. Unbelievable. I don't think there's any way I keep the ball there. Like, I could, obviously. He could just not roll pals. He's only got one reroll. And, you know, doing the, the zombie blitz and get the guard in and is just good to have another player on the ball. So, like, there was lots of things that would have been good. Maybe it's, maybe it's, I don't think it was good though because I'll have to use my last reroll on the on the song on the wolf dodge right. I would have to use my last reroll on it. Whereas now I've got a reroll for another easy sack that he leaves me randomly. <laughs> oh, like this one maybe. Did you?
<laughs> Double G for out oh, to make the dodge out of the wolf. Uh, Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> You're right. What? Gosh. Just lie down and wait for the one turn. Very interesting, frustrating half, I think, for uh, Jimbo. Yeah. So close and yet so far. You ever paint some things, then you come to paint more of them and you can't remember what colour you used to paint them? Yeah. Oh, like four different shades of grey and how the fuck am I meant to know which one I used? You know, you know, you've got four shades of grey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've got what? Eshing grey, Warp Fiend grey, Dawnstone and what? Uh, Administratum grey. Why have you got so many paints? I like grey. Oh my god. Well, you got to do one one paint for the for the layer, and then like one edge highlight in one grey, and then another edge highlight in another grey, and then a, just a fourth grey as a backup. Do you know what's funny? A bone. It looks grey to me. Do you know, do you know what's funny, Hancock? Because I'm just painting for fun. <laughs> uh, I don't understand. Do, oh, do, do you do you know, Elliot, that black and white mixed together makes grey? <laughs> Yeah, this is true. This is also true. <laughs> yeah, but look, I have enough hard enough problem looking at these four shades of grey and deciding which one I used before. There's no way I could replicate a grey that I'd mixed myself. Well, there's a secret. Also, there's a secret to this, Elliot. What you do is you make a spreadsheet, and in your spreadsheet, you have pictures of all your men and how you painted them. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Jim's right. I, I watch um, a YouTube podcast called. Uh... I forgot it's called Siege Studios podcast, um, and they talk about a painting journal. You should have a painting journal yeah. with like a picture of every mini, and then like the uh, like an instruction manual for like how you. Yeah. I mean, like, like I, I don't, I don't do that because all my guys are no. green and yellow. <laughs> 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 this one I painted with green. This yeah. one I painted with yellow. <laughs> this is the green bit, and this is the yellow bit. <laughs> I don't have to worry about shades because they're all the same. <laughs> Amazing. You should paint a team of like Necro where they are just four shades of grey, right? And there's your four greys that you've used. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> Pe people do some paint. crazy like monochrome paint jobs actually. Oh, like, yeah. You know, yeah. Good painters. Yeah, the guy amazing. I played at FC, like, he had an underworld team and they were like sprayed really dark. I don't know what he did, like a wash or something. And then he gave them like an aluminous hand or, or foot or something. Oh. So they were like painted in inverted commas, but not really painted at all. They still look good. <clears throat> oh. If I if I get a timeout, then I don't get to hit the LOS, but I want to hit the LOS, don't I? Bang people out. Is what it's oh, all the golem stayed out, so 50-50. Or yeah. a chance. Yeah, there's a chance. You're telling me there's a chance? Oh. Three colours, tabletop standards. Yeah.
Just spray him gold, yeah, just spray him gold earlier, that's the best way to do it. Spray him gold? Oh, is that what Jimmy does? Yeah, Jimmy just sprays everything gold. Blitz! Oh! Oh, he's got him. Oh, is he gonna call a golem? Probably not. Maybe he just hits the zombo. The blitz! Yeah. Well, better, better this uh, kick off the next kick off. Diced again! Yeah, spraying them goals good. I don't, I don't know what I should have done the first turn. The first, you know the first turn, I was trying to like jam yeah. in and split them open the second turn, which I would have done if I'd powered that fucking raid, but if I hadn't even fucking got to hit him, I wasn't going to waste a reroll. Like, if I'd pushed him, I would have rerolled for a pow, honestly. And then I would have blitzed, you know, the other guy who was in the way with my wraith, and I could have got through then. But when I just failed the fucking foul appearance, maybe I should have still re-rolled it. I that don't was know. turn two, Jim. I know that was turn two, yes. yeah. So that's why I played that. the turn one like I did. I like put uh, all my guards together so I'd be able to force through with a sidestep. That's what I was thinking. But maybe I shouldn't. I maybe I should just backed off and then you know try and get around the sides later. And then after that, I just I just I was looking for a way around the sides, but it just wasn't fucking possible. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, just didn't Hindsight, happen. 2020. Well, I quite like the idea that I had. It just didn't fucking work, did it? You know, if I'd got a bit better dice, you know. But then of course, he could just made the pickup as well, <laughs> and uh, I could have banged him out. You know, I got hits back. I got a hit as well. I mean, I hits like back. honestly, after seeing turn like one, two, three, maybe even four, I'm really surprised that you sacked the ball and had it in your hand and were a three plus with dodge away from mm. potentially counter scoring. Right? You can't. No. You can't really say it was unsuccessful. No, oh, true, good point. Like, in the grand scheme of things. Good point. Oh, he's got sidestep. <laughs> I'm trying to push him, like, why is this fucking game working? <laughs> <laughs> fucking shitty game. Oh, actually, it actually wasn't the game's fault, to be hey, fair. Hey, chicken, you alright, mate? See you Friday, chicken. Oh, well. Oh, he's chicken going QQQC. Yeah. He he goes to every tabletop event. Really? Every, every weekend, yeah. Uh, oh, really? And gets in loads of trouble. Oh. Yeah. Keep saying yes. <laughs> he's a yes man. <laughs> uh. He's probably playing goblins or something mental. No, you can't. Don't slag off people playing goblins, Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's worse is I'm going to be table four and he's going to be like table uh -huh. three like every game. <laughs> Probably table two, to be honest. Yeah, maybe. He'll be table one. <laughs> he probably yeah, will. Uh, he probably will. Well, we've got some confidence. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> All but about the confidence. Just very confident in your regards of with goblins. Yeah, yeah, I'm very confident. All oh, right, that's I what just it is. Do movement ain't pogo. That is insane. Like who? Like I, I honestly think the the rules for UKTC are a bit naff, to be honest with you. I mean, by definition. Yeah, but I just feel like they're out of date. I've, got, I've not even looked at the fucking rules set yet. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's iffy. It's iffy. It's, it's, it's alright. It's fine. It's just not great. I'm glad you prepared, Elliot. I hope I'm not painting these falls for no reason. I, I hope I don't look at the rules set and they'd be like, wait, I don't need this many falls. Ooh, okay. So the, the fleshy stayed out. So it's not so bad that I'm down a wolf. Because he's down a fleshy, right? Gotta try hard and get the draw. Got to try hard anyway. Never give up. Never surrender. Get the fuck off comms. I don't think you have to submit a team for some reason. It's really weird. No, you don't. Yeah, I, heard I think. Well, that. to be fair, if I was a tournament organizer and there was three hundred and eighty of them, I'd yeah. <laughs> be like, "Why are you giving that to me, mate?" I ain't looking at that. <laughs> yeah, orc tiering is straight busted. Yeah, orc tierings don't like, just. What are orcs tier two? Yeah, but they get they get like no, I think they get like seven skills or something, don't they? Okay. So I have a six or something. Like I know undead are like tier one get like five skills and then orcs might even be tier three or something. Yeah, I don't know how many tiers are. They're tier Tamps four. Pretty well against orcs. Tier four? No fucking way. 
Hang on, I gotta get the UK to see rules. Yeah, seven skills, that's what I thought, yeah. One more than they should have. Four out of seven. Yeah, where are Amazons? Amazons are like tier three, aren't they? Or something mental. Where are the vampires? Tiff. Oh, hang on. Let me just link you the rules because I can't be asked. Oh, yeah, I don't want to read them though. Oh. Necro insane. Well, traditionally Necro fell down at higher TVs against the bigger boys, but there aren't really higher TVs or bigger boys in Blood Bowl 3, so they're probably stronger than they were in previous. Stronger than they were in Blood Bowl 2. Yeah, Orcs are tier 4, Vampires are tier 3. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god. Orcs are fine. Tier 4, so they get like, yeah, 7 skills. Or they get 6 and a double. Or a secondary, sorry. I keep calling them doubles, they're secondaries. Amazons definitely shouldn't be tier 3 though. Definitely tier 1. Interesting. If anyone cares... No. Cares about what? Rules for UKTC. Oh, yeah. So how many skulls do vampires get? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, they're tier 3, so they get... They get 130 to spend, and they, they're allowed one secondary. So you can either have 6 skills or 5 in a secondary. Yeah, okay, definitely 6. That's pretty cool. 6 skill vamps. GG. GG. Right, like GG to the rule set, not to the. <laughs> You're amazed there's not more vampires if they're tier 3. I mean, <clears throat> the thing is with vampires is you. Like, as good as they are, you need to be good at Blood Bowl to, <laughs> to play them. So, like, they're definitely one of the teams that I fear. In the right hands, but in the wrong hands, they're not that good. Whereas, historically, Underworld were just good in any hands, which were just outrageous. And, like, the thing is with Orcs as well, like, Orcs... They're just bored, they're, they're, they're annoying to play against. Like, bad players will do alright with Orcs. Because they're orcs and they're tier four, and they've got movement. I mean, fight. bad players will do alright with anything because it's blood bowl, right? But... <clears throat> yeah, but like a bad player on vampires versus a bad player on orcs is a little different, I think. In... Yeah, but a bad player on vampire can just fucking roll gazes and sack your ball every turn. Yeah, I'm not taking vamp. No, I'm taking vampires the weekend after chicken. I'm taking vampires to Kosh. Speaking of bad players on vampires. Well. And... Uh, I'm taking Undead this weekend because uh, it's just a comfort pick. Yeah, yeah. It's just you need to win it. Yeah, just play something with strength five, mighty blow, and hope to bang something out. <coughs> Three dice every turn. GG. Oh, talking of failed pickups, these failed pickups matter a little bit more with the ball so close. Completely forgot there was a game of Blood Bowl going on here. And you're just shutting down the sideline. Which is fair enough, but 
I mean, if Jim picks up the ball, he gets a nice reset turn. If he doesn't pick up the ball, it's pretty scary. Very important pick up now. First free game. I mean, there's a possibility that you're going to go to UKCC and you're going to play against Orc six times, right? There is definitely the social a thing. I don't think. Oh, under who? Yeah. What? Oh, who are you talking to? Oh, chicken. Who? Who? Oh, the social. Yeah, basically everyone goes to Brew York on the Friday night. Every, we'll oh. end up there. Yeah, we'll end up there. But they say it's a social thing. It's just where everyone goes. I I ordered a padlock today. Padlock? Yeah. What, for so your said, door? No, for my hostel. Apparently, like, we yeah, get lockers. that's what I mean, yeah. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. For your, for your hostel door, yeah. Apparently, I Oh, oh lock it off oh, a locker. Oh, right. Yeah, well, there's like, there's, like, six guys in the same room, apparently. So, like, I, I messaged them going, I'm sorry, I'm really, like, new to this sort of shit. Like, do I need anything? They were like, yeah, you need to get, like, a lock. Like, you need to bring, like, a gym lock, lock with you. I was like, oh, I don't have one, so... Don't go to the gym. And then, uh, uh, but, so I ordered one off Amazon today. Yeah, gym's done pretty well here to like make sure the pickup doesn't matter so much. It feels like he might be over egging it a bit, but safer than sorry. It's for Dimmy's pants, yeah. On resurrection like this tournament, you get them right away. Oh, were you saying about Necromantic being really good? I mean, like, every team's pretty good. Like, they're all kind of balanced to a point. There will always be one or two teams that are stronger than the others, but that's half the joy of it, is that you've got to find the strongest team that you can. And, like, there is... The, the big weakness of this Necro team is the Golems don't have block. Like, so you, you've got a 1 in 9 of just, like, hitting a turnover really easily. Like, the Wolves have got block and the Ghouls got block and the Wraiths have got block. But, like... <clears throat> and they're not very mobile. Like, once they're based, they're, it's very hard for them to dodge. Like, so if Necromantic don't get removals, like, they're not as strong as you probably imagine. Like, but they can get removals and they can snowball pretty well. Like, they... Jim likes to say that they snowball the best in the game, but <coughs> yeah, yeah, because like yeah, but I mean it's like every every team has its moments to shine and stuff. Like this necromantic team against an orc team could struggle. Like oh, when your orcs like the best team in the game though. Right? Yeah, because like the 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 big guys will just get knocked over every turn and they like they can't really do much. Like the they. For me, Necromantic shine in the matches where the golems are the bullies. Like sometimes the yeah. golems are getting bullied. Like and in which those matchups specifically, they 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 struggle. Necromantic are very good against the elf teams and the the human teams and that kind of thing. Yeah. So like my recommendation to you, Kerry, would be uh, play some Necromantic games like yourself, and then you'll you'll see you'll you'll soon find some weaknesses, and then when you play against them. Try and exploit those weaknesses. Jump strats. Jump strats. So if you ever see me stream and I'm being terrible at Blood Bowl, I'm just trying to expose weaknesses. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there are, there there are matchups where, Nick, like I mean, I think lizards are pretty rough for necromantic in a sense. Think on dwarves. Yeah, I mean, Necro are pretty good against dwarves. And this is the other thing as well, like, because there's certain matchups where you want block on the golems, but you can't take block and guard, so, like, you kind you of have to pick the best skill for the majority of the matchup. So, you're not always optimizing your team to play a specific team. You're optimizing your team to play as many good matchups as possible. And in certain matchups, it won't be as optimal as it could have been had you known what the matchup was before you had the matchup. This is the Necro, yeah, Miro, yeah. 
so far as Jimmy's Jimmy Jimmy like lost a wall. Um he was down like three players. He managed to sack Andy and recover the ball. And then he had a one in nine dodge with a goal, which he failed, and then Andy recovered the ball and scored. Um, but Andy has had a flesh golem knocked out in the first half, which then failed to come back from KO twice. So Andy's missing a golem, Jimmy's missing a wolf. It's been a bit Ooh. of a. You alright? Yeah, so I just knocked my bit of cardboard on the floor. Oh, right. I thought you just. I thought you did the classic of spilling a whole pot of no. Oh no, yeah. no, no. Yeah, I've done that twice now. I did drop like way too much. Flayed one flesh into my wet palate, so I'm going to waste it. Yeah, that's 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 a dice thing. Like, um, yeah. <clears throat> there's certain pots like the 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 dropper bottles that you get with AK and um, especially with army painter. Like sometimes they get blocked, so you squeeze it and nothing comes out, and you squeeze yeah. it and it'll get harder. Yeah. Uh, you hear this fart noise, uh, 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 <laughs> like, uh, and it's like half the bottle is in your wet palate, and you're just like, oh my god. Is this live? Yeah, he's live, yeah. <laughs> Got four pots of great paint. <laughs> Fucking hell, that'd be a disaster. Going from four pots to zero pots. I can't believe you bought four pots of great paint. Well, the thing is, I painted these... <laughs> No, I'm, never, I'm not going to tell you this story. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's just too embarrassing. Oh my god, it sounds like a great story. It's not, it's fucking boring. I, I bought the paint just because I wanted grey paint. That's basically the story. Use what at an angle? Oh, what, you mean the pots? Yeah, I mean, but the amount I paint, like, most of my pots are empty. Or getting empty. And I only use the same colour and over and over again. <clears throat> Ooh, what have we got here? I'm confused. Oh, wait, right, yeah. What turn are we on? 12. Hmm. This is looking pretty deadlocked. Is Jim going for a surf here? He can't be, can he? he no, he can't be. Confusion. Oh, if he, uh, that's your first mistake, get some new colour schemes. What? He, he, it's my brand, Barney. Not my colour scheme, it's my brand. Honestly, if you don't have a team, oh, this is rowdy AF. Desperate for removals. Push. Pretty nice. Oh, yeah, he gets it. Yeah, that's cool. Make it a little bit easier to play for. The problem is with this is he's like he's pinned on one sideline, right? So all that stuff on the right, the two ghouls and the wolf, are really gonna cause some pressure. Spiciness. <clears throat> three minutes into his three minutes left on his time bank. I wish they brought in a, a timeout button on Blood Bowl 3, that would be amazing. So this is this is a big turn for Andy. This is... He needs to get set right, because I think Jim's going to be a little bit more rushed soon. 
So if he gets this turn right, it's going to be really difficult for Jim to make any penetration. But he's obviously going to have to roll some dice because he needs to get these wraiths on the left hand sides. Maybe has to dodge the one off the golem. Maybe. And this is the thing, because he's only got one flesh column himself, they're not as, like, strong as they normally are. Like, positionally. This is a big turn for Andy. And it's awkward as well, like, it's very awkward. I thought that might even be a blitz, the one he's just stood up, but it's not. Oh, Second action GFI. What's the plan here? Blitz in this way. I, I guess he doesn't need to blitz the wraith at the moment because the flesh golem can hit it. But if he doesn't get the power on the flesh golem, it's really annoying. He just wants to claw the wraith. Yeah, gets the power. Mm, we're deep, aren't we? Yeah, like, it's. It's. it's mm. I mean, that's fantastic for Andy. Badly hurt. No re. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, regen failed. But it's kind of dead anyway. It's just if the golem powers the wraith, it's a big if. Is he gonna dodge it? Or is he just gonna eat it? Yeah, this is looking rough. Yeah, now he can just stay there with the Wraith because if he hits him and powers him, he just steps and blocks that square next to the zombie and the whole line shut down unless he jumps over it. So he's forcing Jim to come back to the middle, which is another turn of not getting forward. So... Again, that surf is like, I get it, you're getting rid of a player to uh, make the push through easier, but you you really narrowed yourself down and made a wrap around really hard, like, really good. And he capitalised, I mean, he, he got the the CAS mm. on the, the, the side separate. If he doesn't get the CAS on the side separate, it probably it doesn't look at, like as good, obviously. But. Feeling a bit jammed up against this sideline, aren't we? Yeah, 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 and it was because he took the surf. I understand why he took the surf. He took the surf because he obviously wants to get the numbers down to give him a better chance. But then the the problem with doing that is you leave a situation like this. What is Andy thinking? Is Andy? Like, is, this is like killing his time bank. I don't know. Is he just thinking about the dodge with the wraith, or just leave it? I think you can leave it now. You got the zombie in behind it. I think you can leave it, but I don't know. Maybe. There is no Apo, they're both regen teams. Yeah, in the turn, maybe he's just AFK, like, what the hell? What the hell? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, shit, all his time max going. Yeah, maybe his missus has just turned up with his dinner, and he's just chowing. Mm, I mean... Don't want to let blood bowl in for tea time. Oh, now he can tag the ghoul as well. Oh, God. Tag the ghoul, and then he's got nothing to push through the middle. This is rough.
Ooh, ball carrier KO. Where he? Team going for the classic strategy of scoring on turn 24. I love it that every time I watch, me and Jimmy watch replays together all the time and all he's like, oh, I want to get forward this turn, I want to get forward this turn. Uh, <laughs> Jim, I want to get forward. <laughs> I wanted to get forward half an hour ago, mate. <laughs> oh, amazing. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's going to be in trouble. Like, again, Andy's got to play this one pretty... Yeah, play this play. is the big one, isn't it? The switch. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, Andy's got some work to do. Let's see what Jimmy does. Let's see how Andy covers. And he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to leave this left side no, weak because this. Overcompensate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the switch back to the left side is probably Jim's better option of the two. To be honest, that's where he's like waiting. Well, ultimately, the. Uh, um. Ultimately, the um, um, ultimately the um, the offense has the advantage, right? These kind of things, like ultimately, it's you know the offense tends to make it through. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see. He's done here. He's freed the wolf. So has he got a free plus dodge? Yeah, he's got a free plus dodge through if he wants it, but I don't know if that's good enough for a one D. It's not really worth it, is it? One into red. No, he hasn't got three plus. Yeah, he's got three plus plus three. Yeah. No, he hasn't. That's a four plus plus. Ignore me. Disregards. Irata. Maybe he just wants to get the wolf out and. Yeah, he's got two into one on that zombie. Oh, he's going for the golem. Ooh. Dead, dead, dead. Dance. See, this lets the wolf out the back end as well. I, I think the stand firm might have been better. The wraith is not in the square you thought it was. Which one? Oh, oh Jimmy's one. Yeah. I'm assuming it's. Oh, well, you thought it was one up? I don't know. I've got no He's idea. He's left the sideline open, but the problem is if we go down the sideline, we're so deep. We're so deep. If we try and go down that sideline, we're just going to end up uh, off in the side again. Yeah. I think we have to go right. He's looking at the left, but we have to go right. 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 And he's, yeah. Turn 14. So Andy's down two players. Is Jimmy like obviously the Gollum stuns? All right, Jimmy's down one. Jimmy's got a bench as well. Isn't he? Jimmy's got twelve, and Andy's got twelve. Right? They've got the same build. They must have. Get that race around the back as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it really helps. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Mm. Tough one. Yeah, the problem is, Chicken, is he can't connect the Wraith to the wall. Like, so, <clears throat> the Wraith can go around the left, yeah, absolutely, but if you count out eight squares, you can't, like, connect it to the wall. Like, what you really want to do is connect it to the wall, so you've got the screen on the top end, but he, he just can't make it that far. And there's no way of really cutting the distance either. Like, even if he dodges, it doesn't really help or anything. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he's left the uh, three plus two plus two plus one D on a bugger, which is fine. Wait, one, two. If he knocks over the golem, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you can't even get the wolf there, really. <clears throat> Maybe he just hits the wrestle wolf. Probably just hits the wrestle wolf and then greens about in front of him. Maybe. Jimmy, BM, and Nandy. Obviously, shouting at someone on Reddit. Uh, so playing the game. <laughs> uh, man's got a problem. He has for me, yeah. Uh, uh, yes, get off that Reddit, Jimmy. Uh, Blocking with the wall seems super strange. Uh, I mean, he's got two of them. I see what you mean, though. The sidestep is pretty nice though as well, like, because I'm thinking he's going to wrap the, the wraith around the wrestle wolf and then blitz it with the other wolf and then drop the ghoul back as a safety. That's what I'm thinking we're going to see, but again, Andy's a lot better than me, so he might have something up his sleeve. In his box of tricks, because it's quite nice having the wolf, like, on the, the sidestep bar. So yeah, so he's tagging. Oh, maybe he wants to put the sidestepper on the ball. That's what it is. He wants to put the sidestepper on the ball. So he wants to wrap that wraith around the front of the goal. How many squares of movement that wolf got? So that, that wraith is just going to sit directly in front of the goal. One, two, three, four, five. Six, maybe even GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he's going to GFI in front of him, I think. We might tuck in between the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this other goal is going to make the dodge out harder, yeah. He might even go one down. Mm. Yeah. Well, it means it's not an instant 2D, which is nice. <clears throat> Zombie dodge to tag the Wraith. Oh, I don't like that. Feels like that block. Oh, yeah, it feels like the block doesn't do much. Well, the, the thing is here is if he powers the Wraith. It's just a 3 plus dodge to run all the way over to the left. And then... Big if. You can make it yeah. 2D. 2D and then blitz with the goal. Well, like Shurgan said, it's strange you didn't end up with both wolves back to have better coverage. But, but like you say, the sidestep is good too. It's foul pain sidestep. Yeah. He's, Jim's going to have to blitz it, isn't he? I guess you blitz with the Wraith, right? Do you blitz with the Wraith and then... Free both the ghouls. Probably, yeah. Uh... Yeah, because blitz with the wraith, because if you get the pow, then you tag the ghoul. And then the other two, like, you just dodge the ball carrier and you dodge the, the other ghoul. Uh, the other ghoul doesn't need to dodge because you've powered the wraith. Problem is, you have to re roll the foul appearance and you probably have to re roll the non pow. That's the problem, mate. Right? Doesn't. Rolls a six. No pow. Yeah. Gets the pal. So now Andy should sidestep next to the ghoul. Or mm, back there. Oh, I guess because and yeah, he's gonna go that way. How much movement's left on that wraith? Yeah, lovely square. Holy shit! I didn't see that square. I was thinking tag the ghoul. That's a, well, I mean, he's just, he's going to be dodging the wolf anyway. Yeah, 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 no, that's the square because it stops the wraith going in, using the zombie to clear the block wolf. Mm. 
Makes the dodge this time. Makes the GFI, fails the second one. In goes the reroll. No reroll now. No, I like this. No, I like the ghoul. I like the ghoul. Two squares and all for the wrestle wolf. I think. That, that, oh, hang on. Where the fuck is this? Where, this? Oh, no, yeah. He's got this other werewolf here that you can just dodge out. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm being an idiot. I don't think that makes any difference, really. He's just going to fail it. Uh, and then he can hit it with the golem anyway. I guess it makes some difference. I guess it's better than just... Yeah. Oh, he made the six and failed the rush. What? Oh, no. What? Why was that uh -huh. two dot trolls? That looked like it was two dot trolls. Oh. I'm so confused. Oh, he rolled a six on the rush and a five on the dodge. Oh, my God. Surely you roll the dash, the roll the dash, the <laughs> roll the rush second. Surely you roll the dodge and then the rush. Who does that? People on tabletop who do that are just mental. This is pretty good from Jim though. No, this is better than that. Whoa, okay, it's a big dodge, big rush, big rush. How is he blitzing with this wolf? Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have punched that fucking rape, eh? Fuck's sake. Instant double pals. <laughs> oh, fuck. The double pals. AV break, dead. Dead, fuck dead, me. dead. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have made that block. Fuck me. And he catches it. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking dice, Lord. <laughs> Jesus. That's oh. annoying, but I was—I guess I should just shouldn't have blocked. I just kind of didn't think it was—I didn't think—I didn't think it was in range, so I just blocked it, thinking it didn't matter. So I'd rather block it so he hasn't got, you know, he hasn't. Got, so I could—I could do that dodge, make it roll more dice to get the wolf out. Mm. That would stop the wraith, yeah. Okay, I just didn't think of the wraith. I just didn't think of the fucking wraith being that fast. Should have counted it. It's cost me before, hasn't it, against you, Elliot? Uh. Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh, Jim, you, you missed Elliot explaining the story. <laughs> oh. And he, he just went, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like 15 times in a row. It's so weird. <laughs> oh. So we've got uphill, double pals into 3 plus dodge, 3 plus pickup into the score. Easy. Can't, can't believe he's left this on. I know, it's rubbish, isn't it? Oh, there you go. He's even covered that as well. What a Hilarious. fucking new. He's re rolled all the dice, didn't he? I don't know. Like, maybe I should have played Karma in the first half, right? Because a draw is good enough, really. Like, Not really, though, right? Because I do think Sea Brawls will win the last game. Ugh. I don't know. Now I need Seabulls to lose his last game and me to beat Chunter, which obviously we all know I'm not going to beat Chunter, so that, that's a big problem. Ah, uh, not double pass. I should just play it properly, I guess. I don't know. Which, which game? This this game I should have played properly, right? I shouldn't oh, have tried. okay. I shouldn't have tried my weird jamming guard and hope to bash through and get the ball or the disconnected front line I just shouldn't have tried. I should uh. just played properly. Stayed off, try to get a draw, maybe a win. Instead of like, you know, more likely a win and more likely a loss. Just end the turn, you prick. <laughs> oh I guess he I guess he'd probably get a fiver for this, won't he? Wow, now now Jimmy, now now <laughs> Well done, oh he found a surfer yeah, yeah. Less of the uh, sodium chloroxide or whatever. <laughs> 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 Fuck me. He's just wasting everybody's life. <laughs> I hate it, but it's not wasting his life. No, I hate I hate them just not ending the turn on the last turn. I fucking hate it. I do hate it. I hate it when anyone does it. I hate it when fucking Chunter uh, did it the other day as well. I just fucking hate people just not fucking ending the turn. He's enjoying himself. Oh my god, seriously injured. <laughs> Oh no, that'll cost me in the next one. 
Right. Yeah, you regen, you regen, you're alright, mate. <laughs> oh, it grinds my gear, people not ending the turn, but never mind. <laughs> uh, Channel um, was asking if you want to play your next game now, mate. <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't play my next game now. We don't know if they'll get star player points on the other ones. You did, oh, Channel, I didn't see you in chat there, so I wasn't looking at chat. Yeah, you did, you fucking played your last turn against, like, Seabros or whatever. Or he played his last turn against you, it was one of you two played your last turn, maybe it was Seabros. Absolutely disgusting. How dare you play Somebody your did something and we're angry about it. I'm angry, yeah. goddammit. I'm angry at myself. I'm angry at myself, obviously. I should have just fucking stayed off on turn one and played normally and fucking probably draw. Well, be more likely to draw 1 1, I guess, or more likely to bang him out. Seeing as banging out is the main way to win this game, isn't it? Ultimately, between, like, you know, yeah, I just made a fundamental misunderstanding of how I was going to win the game. Like, trying to put pressure on with a guard and hopefully break through was just not as reliable as picking players off and getting your two or three men up. If I, you know, and I still got a shot of the ball, right? Three players down. So if I'd been three players up, I would have got a shot of the ball naturally, wouldn't I? So, yeah, I should just try to bang. Uh, all these years of people insulting Mr. Page, and it turns out... When you say I <laughs> never insulted Mr. Page. Yeah, yeah, when you say people do... <laughs> well, people, pe lots of people do. The so-called clever people, you know, they they have their yes. own Discord. Well, and they, and they maybe they're, they're not so, so clever. clever. Uh -huh. yeah. You are the so-called mm. people with their own Discord. What? You know, you know who they you're are. A, they? You're a clever person. I mean, you have your own Discord. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Am I? Have I got my own Discord? <laughs> Is it me? <laughs> no, no, James. <laughs> and, you know, is it me? <laughs> and they think, you know, they think, uh, you know, like, what's it called? Um, you know, you can overblock. You can't overblock. Just fucking bang people out. Banging people, especially between good players, right? Banging people out is the best way to win. Like, not, not fucking going for the ball or anything. I was just stupid. I was trying to... I, I, was trying I fucking to... hate going for the ball. Yeah, no, I was... Oh. Can we replay now that I know how to play? <laughs> I feel, I feel like I feel like you've grown. Dude, yeah, thirty player. years of Blood Bowl and I've learned how one to game. play. I finally learned how to play. Yeah, it's that's unlocked it. it. Just bam. see, there's no losses in life, Jim. Only lessons. Yeah. When you what said Andre is now but a greedy banger, we all thought you were insulting him. Actually, it was a compliment. He had it figured out before the rest of us. <laughs> I, did I say that? You I did, that Jimmy, sounds, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that sounds like something I did say. <laughs> yeah, I got rather upset at you if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, Elliot was, was mad at you. He was like, he's now, he's a, Andrew's a good player. He's nothing, he's uh, saying he's now but a greedy banger is stupid. But actually, it's it's a big compliment. Now but a greedy yeah, banger yeah, means you've got your priorities in order. So, yeah. Did you, did you get upset with me about that? You get upset yeah, with me about you, everything. You were on Discord with Jimmy and stuff, and I came on Discord, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you? <laughs> yeah. He went. Ah, ah, ah. Did I, you? I, I don't. I don't remember that at all. Oh my god. Was I no, pissed? Was pretty... no, I must have been drunk. Yeah. Uh, don't know. But I, I mean, think probably it was after you went sober. I don't know. Probably depending on the depending on the date that it happened. <laughs> you were, yeah, you yeah, were yeah. just definitely. Yeah, so you were either <laughs> definitely <laughs> drunk <laughs> or no chance. <laughs> if it was before May 2023, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in fact it probably was because like May 2023 was like oh, when Blood Bowl 3 came out yeah was, yeah right? yeah it was definitely was it? Before 2020. yeah yeah February 23 is when it came out right fuck yeah was that it I f it feels like it's been out for years yeah yeah mm. Has it only been out a year? It's been a year and a half. It's been a year and a half. That's a long time. I guess. I guess it's because of all the. It's because it's improved the same amount as you would have expected to have improved after eighteen days, not eighteen months. I think it's because of the beaters. Because I I played like the original beta and stuff, which was like twenty twenty, right, or something. Yeah, the beta. The beta was like yeah, probably twenty twenty one. Yeah, because that was when we knew. But that was when we knew Blood Bowl was dead, basically. With the infinite running goblin, that was amazing. It was the magazine pictures. The magazine pictures showed it was dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. There was no coming back to the magazine pictures. Yeah. Funnily enough, the magazine pictures. Something you expect to a magazine, a gaming magazine. Something you'd expect to see in nineteen ninety eight. Had graphics that looked <laughs> like they were from 1998, and that was that was the death knell of Blood Bowl Three. The fucking the pictures of the UI and just not being able to tell what the fuck was happening in any of the fucking screenshots. Yeah. Anyway, right. That so that game was a game. Yeah. Um, congratulations to Andy. Yep, he's definitely yeah. qualified uh, now on eight points with the closest to him being Seabros on five. 
and I'm almost certainly out. I have to beat Chunter and I need Seabrawls to lose. So it's almost certainly going to be Andy and Seabrawls. Well, no, maybe not, right? Because Sol might beat Hiru. And then uh, I think Sol... But then, you know, Sol could win his last two and Seabrawls could draw, right? So there, there's a chance. There's a chance for Sol. Outside chance for Sol. Outside, for, outside chance for Hiru. If Hiru wins and then wins his last game and, you know, I draw something, uh, you, then Hiru could be... Uh, yeah, because Hiru could definitely beat Seabros, right? So yeah, Hiru could win his last two. So there are there are options. So there's three possible, four possible people can finish second. But yeah, Andy's definitely won the won the group with eight points. Um, and you know, Andy's played a lot of Necro, right? So he he probably understood the the matchup more, uh, realizing that it was all about the banging. Um, though you know, he nearly, he nearly did lose. Well, he did lose the ball. He nearly did. Uh, he nearly did get scored on, maybe. Um, but you know he's played a lot more Nav, right? He is the ranked three player in the world. In he's NAF the top Necro. Necro. He's the top well, Necro. Well, he's th three in the world is is a better way of saying it, I think, because well, know, no, like cause top he, Necro could be twentieth, right? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, or thirtieth. <laughs> I mean, gnomes are pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, it's right? true. So no, he's th he's third. So you know that's that's pretty good, and. Um, yeah. So, you know, I probably just, even though I did win Blitzpit with him, I, I don't really like Necro and I haven't played that much Necro. So, I was just trying to play Blood Bowl, whereas, you know, the more you experience Blitzpit you've got. with Necro, didn't you? Don't underplay yourself, Jimmy. You yeah, won. I did. I did. But I, did I did win Blitzpit. You just said that. Yeah, I did just say that. But the thing is, like, that's just, I just haven't played that many games of Necro overall, right? And Andy's played tons of Necro. So, he does have that familiarity, which is, you know, one of the reasons why I went with Dwarves for the uh, Season 2 finals, just because I'm more familiar with them. And like that's what I trust myself more with at Law TV and stuff. And the lizards, actually, funny enough, which also lost to Andy, <laughs> Andy's Necro in that recent NAF thing. Uh, uh, whereas you know, like that level, that you, I think the level of familiarity does matter. And he he knew about like the fucking fleshies and the race and stuff. Like obviously, I've never played with race before. Right? Even though I did win Blitzpit, I'll say it for the third time. Thank you, Dimmy. Um, I didn't have race <laughs> then, right? Whereas he's played a lot of he's played a lot with race, and I haven't played a lot with race. So um, that that makes a big difference having the experience there, and uh, I didn't think I had very good dice, but yeah, ultimately I think uh, my plan lost me, and obviously the fucking horrible misclick. Oh dear me, that was so oh, bad. Oh, stand firm, yeah. Yeah, just a complete yeah. brain fart. Like I literally stood up the fleshy to stand firm, and why I stood him up first, I thought right, well I'll just stand him up, blitz him, stand firm, and then I, and then if I'd got another wolf out, then maybe I do get the the you know the turnover, and maybe I get a better play than having to just do the dodge. Maybe I could have done the chain out. Uh, you know, if I'd, had no, if I'd had another player free, then maybe I'd just get to do the chain out. If I had another player free, I would have gone for the chain out. And then maybe it would have worked, and, you know, who knows with better dice. But, uh, yeah, well played, Andy, and congratulations to him for winning the group. And thank you very much, Elliot and Dimmy. Glorious having you guys in the booth. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, no, it's that, that... Just say bye, Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can't wait for this. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Stay fun. Stay. <laughs>